Il me semble que ce matin le soleil est un peu moins brillant. Serait-ce la fin des vacances, la fin de l'insouciance Il me semble. The Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation was established in 1940 by Frank Lloyd Wright himself. The foundation uh, was the place where he did his work, where he educated his apprentice architects. Um, other homes that you might visit are finished products for clients. Taliesin West and Taliesin in Wisconsin really were unfinished works in places where Wright could have his laboratory. His apprentices could experiment, where he could push the limits of materials and boundaries to see what could be done to advance the way we build and the way we live. Despite the 110,000 visitors that come here to Taliesin West every year, there are many more people who would like to come that don't get the chance, whether that's because of distance, because of accessibility challenges, because a desert camp, which is what Taliesin West was formed to be, is not the most friendly for mobility challenged uh, members of our public. All of these buildings were built as experimental buildings. They were constructed over time, sometimes without even plans. He would sketch some ideas on butcher paper, hand the uh, sketch to an apprentice, and they would start building. And the right would come out, observe what they were doing, uh, and then you know change things on the fly. Say, move this wall over here, or let's change this. It's one of the most important architectural sites in the US, if not the world. We really need uh, accurate drawings and data to be able to understand the building and then make correct decisions uh, on how to preserve and care for it. The Frank Lloyd Wright Foundation approached us with a, a difficult problem that they wanted to be able to have everybody experience Taliesin West in an immersive view. We were able to utilize the newest technology, including the BLK360 from Leica and Matterport Pro Camera, combined together in a fused sensor technology that will allow us to share this built model in an immersive sense online for everybody to be able to use. Preservation of architecture, uh, culture, and design heritage has always been a big theme for Leica Geo Systems and, and Hexagon. The BAK360 was exactly designed with this purpose in mind. You go somewhere where you have no blueprints, where you have an uh, ex existing building, and then you start in building up this three-dimensional uh, foundation. And you can later derive then uh, 2D floor plans from this. You can model the building. You can uh, exchange parts. With the seamless integration of the BRK360 into the Metaport showcase, people can uh, experience precise 3D uh, data plus the imagery that comes out of the, uh, the BRK360 directly in a uh, Im immersive reality for visualization, for real estate, commercial real estate, uh, architecture. I love the idea that everybody's coming and they, they have their phones out and they're taking pictures and they're posting to social media. Um, as, as a marketing director, you know, I, I, I can't buy that kind of exposure. You know, I also want people to have the opportunity to come here and put their phones down and be here. Being able to say to them, you know, when you leave here and you want to show your friends, here's this immersive experience that was so generously provided by Leica Geosystems and Multivista, they're going to see this virtual tour and they're going to go, yeah, we need to go to Arizona and we need to see Talias and Wes. From the scan that Leica Geosystems and Multivista are providing us, we're going to be able to take that information and translate it into AutoCAD drawings. We're going to be able to study it in three-dimensional space uh, so that we can then make uh, informed decisions on how we uh, make interventions into the building and how we care for the building. So many of his ideas were so forward-looking and so visionary that, you know, only just now um, is our technology catching up to his brain, and and we're able to to actually see some of these ideas come to um, to realization. And I think this this partnership is another example of, 
you know, that legacy continuing here at Talius and West, just like Wright did, how we can use modern technology um, to bring these ideas to a broader audience, show more and more people how they can um, live more beautifully, more engaged with the world around them, and ultimately happier lives. For a man that was born two years after the Civil War, and he dies two years after Sputnik is launched, so he goes from the ages of horse and buggies to the space age. And through that whole 92-year span, through a 70-plus year career, what Wright is doing is he's embracing new technology. He is constantly testing the limits. Numerous social changes, technological changes within Wright's architecture over the course of that 70-year career. How we take this extraordinary legacy of self-invention, of the relationship with nature, of authenticity, of enriching our lives and how we carry that forward for the next 150 years. This partnership and the ability to make these spaces that inspire so many people accessible to everybody throughout the world. This is how we take this legacy forward. This is how we get these ideas put into practice.